Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode in this Pi Game tutorial series. In today's episode, we are going to be implementing health bars into our game. So in the last couple of episodes, we added the hitboxes to our characters. The hitboxes are represented by the black boxes around the enemy and the character, and they determine what area has to collide for a hit to be registered. Let me demonstrate that real quick. So if I shoot the character, you'll see in the console output that the player has hit the enemy because the, the bullet has hit the enemy within the hitbox. And similarly, if we walk into the enemy, then you'll see in the console output, it says that the enemy has hit the player. So let me demonstrate that a couple of times. So if I hit the, uh, the enemy again, you can see in the console output that the player is at the enemy. And then again, when I walk into the enemy, then the console output adjusts accordingly. So that was the mechanics that we sort of implemented in the last couple of episodes. And now let's get straight into building the health bars for both the character which we control as well as the enemy. So over here in the editor, I have the code which is familiar to you guys from the previous episodes. Um, and we're going to open the class enemy and move down to the function draw. After all, when we create the health bars, we are in fact drawing something onto the screen. So it makes sense to add this health bar to the draw function. So the next one we're gonna do is we're going to draw a rectangle. Uh, let me make sure that I'm getting this right. I want to draw a rectangle. So pygame dot draw dot rect, which is uh, short for rectangle. Then we pass in the surface where we are drawing the rectangle, which is of course our window. And I've uh, shortened the variable to win, which is short for window. And we want to add a color for the, um, for the uh, health bar. And at the beginning, we are, of course, going to have full health, which is always green. And behind the green health bar, we want to add a red health bar. Because when we are hit by a bullet, uh, or when the enemy is hit by a bullet, we want to sort of subtract some of that uh, green health bar so that the red health bar, which is behind the green health bar, is shown. All right, so let's go ahead and implement that. We're gonna say that the um, health bar, which is on the bottom, is going to be entirely red. So red is going to be 25500, and we have to add a position of where we want this health bar to be added. So I have went ahead and um, sort of uh, determined where exactly the position is going to be. It's going to be at self, dot x plus 15 comma self dot y and then 30 and 10. All right, so let me go ahead and quickly show you guys what I've added to the game. You'll see that at the moment there's a sort of red bar which um, our enemy has on top of him. And this red bar is going to be behind a green bar and the green bar is going to get smaller and smaller whenever we hit the enemy. So let me add a green bar to the to, on top of the red bar. So we're going to say that pygame draw rect and then I am going to change the color of the new rectangle which we're adding on top to green. And the code for that is 02550. Now you'll see that there is only a green bar on top of the enemy. And if I make the green bar a little bit shorter, uh, let's change that to, oh, let's change both. Uh, wait, what's, what's the uh, length again? Yeah, the length is gonna be this one. So let me make the green bar half as long. Now you'll see that the green bar basically overlays the red bar. And so in order to make the green bar get shorter whenever we hit the enemy, we can implement a small if statement. We're gonna say that if 
self.health, uh, which we haven't added yet, but I will do it in a second. If self.health is greater than or equal to zero, then pygame draw rect. Uh, so we're going to indent this. Um, and then we have to say that the uh, width of the bar is going to be equal to self, oh, hold on, it's going to be this one, though. It's going to be self.health. All right, and so we need to add this variable health to our list of variables in the init method of the enemy. So we're going to say that self.health is going to be equal to 30. All right, so um, this should be good for the moment. But now we still need to have a possibility to decrease the enemy's health whenever he is hit. So if we go down to the function hit in the enemy class, we are going to say instead of printing enemy hit player in the console, we're going to subtract some health from the enemy. So we are going to say that um, the uh, player.health, oh, hold on, is that correct? It's going to be, oh, okay, I got it again. I got it again. Uh, we got to go to the hero class. And in the, in the hero class, we also implemented a Meth, uh, uh, a uh, function called hit. So this function, which we uh, explained in the last video, it outputs in the console player hit enemy. So whenever we hit the enemy with a bullet, the uh, print statement over here is executed and this text is printed out in the console. So instead of uh, printing out in the console that the enemy has been hit by the player, we are going to instead subst subtract some health from the enemy by saying enemy dot health dot health minus equals one minus equals one. All right, so this should do the trick. Let us go ahead and run the code and see if there's any problems with this. So you can see that the um, health bar of the enemy is full at the moment. And let's go ahead and shoot a couple bullets and you'll see that the uh, enemy is losing health. And uh, since we are creating a new enemy whenever the enemy walks off screen, he, uh, his health replenishes whenever he walks off screen. So let us try and kill a couple enemies. Uh, let's see if that's going to work out. So over here I'm firing bullets like mm, as much as I can, but... Um, yeah, I think the, the, the enemy has a bit too much health. So he always manages to pass the screen um, with still a bit of health left. But nonetheless, I mean, the mechanic works. Uh, whenever the bullet hits the enemy, the enemy loses health. So that's basically what we wanted to do. But now we want to implement the same thing for our uh, player. So whenever we walk into the enemy, we want to be losing health. So let's go ahead and do that. So clearly creating a health bar for our character is going to be really easy because we've just done it for our enemy. So the way that I'm going to do it is by simply going to uh, the code we've just written in the draw function of our enemy. And I am going to copy and paste. I'm gonna copy and paste the rectangles which we drew for our enemy. And I am going to go over to the class hero and in the draw function, I am going to add them back again. So now we have um, the, uh, the, the, the rectangles, uh, the green rectangle and the red rectangle um, in, the, in, the, in the heroes class. And we, of course, need to add a variable health to our player. So we're going to say that, we're going to say that self dot health is equal to 30. So we're going to give our player, which we control, just as much health as we gave the enemy. And of course, we then need to say uh, that whenever the enemy collides with the hero, health is deducted from the hero. So we are going to go to the hit 
function in our enemy class. And instead of printing in the console that the enemy has hit the player, which is us, we are going to instead uh, deduct health from our player. So we're going to say that player.health and we are going to subtract one health point. All right, let's see if this works. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. And now we should see health bars uh, above our enemy and the hero which we control. And whenever I walk into the enemy, I should be losing health, which is exactly what happens. So uh, now um, you see that we can sort of hit our goblin, um, hit our enemy and he loses health. And so do we when we walk into him. But there remains a couple of things to be done. One of the things that we need to change is we need to delete the bullet once it hits the enemy. Because at the moment they travel through the enemy. And the other thing which we need to do is we need to kill the player whenever he uh, has no more health. So let's go ahead and do the first thing, which is um, we deleting the bullet. We are going to accomplish this by going to the by going to the hit method in the hero class. And uh, so let me open back up the hero class and we need to go right down to the hit function. And in addition to de reducing the health of the enemy, we are also going to delete the bullet. We're going to do that by simply writing player dot bullets dot remove dot um, and in the brackets we're going to write bullets oh no hold on bullet and um, yeah so that should do the trick if I go ahead and run all of this again now you can see that whenever I shoot a bullet at the enemy it does not travel through the enemy anymore but it gets deleted so yeah, the other thing which I mentioned before, uh, which is killing the enemy, is going to be a part of the next video uh, because I don't want to make this video too long. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video and learned something new about how to build health bars in Pygame, then make sure to leave this video a like um, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It really helps it out. And uh, yeah, um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Uh, where we will somehow create a mechanic that allows us to basically die. <laughs>